Hello, my name is Lisa Baker. I've been a teacher for 19 years, the last seven here in Brevard County. In Brevard County, I've done a lot of things. I've been a resource teacher at the elementary level, I've been an RTI coach, and I've also been a pre-K early education learning teacher, or ELP. In 2011, Brevard County, along with other counties in the state of Florida, changed the teacher evaluation system. One of the things that Brevard County added was something called the Professional Growth Plan, or PGP. Now the PGP is a learning tool for teachers. It allows the teacher to pick one aspect of her educational experience and classroom experience and do something, some kind of action project to improve it. This year, I decided to use video modeling as part of my PGP. So, I found an amazing tool on the iStore called Dartfish Express, and I started using it in my classroom. Along with a deeper view, I've been able to use this tool in my classroom, and the results have been nothing short of astonishing. The kids are improving, I'm having more fun, and everything's working out well. One of the things I decided to add was a teacher reflection piece. Because you see, when teachers reflect on their own skills and their own practice, just like the kids, we improve. And so I decided, since I'm using a video modeling tool, why don't I do the reflections with a video modeling tool as well? So after school, every couple of days or so, I take a quick little snippet, a reflection of what's happened during the day, both good and both bad to see how I can improve in my teaching experiences. So here is my collection of my reflections after school using Dartfish Express and a deeper view. I hope you enjoy. I just saw the video from Dartfish from the testing that I did with my student Jaheem. Jaheem started with me last year, and so this is my second year with him and I tested him with the new technology in September. So I finally got the iPad to function as my video camera, and I did the assessment today. And I cannot tell you the difference in this child from then to now. It is astonishing, dramatic, and honestly, without the video, I never would have known. Now, can you tell me the color? Green. What color is this? Green. 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 Okay, what color is this? Green. Purple. What color is this? Green. Yellow. 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 What color is this? This is not green. Blue. Blue. Good job. What color is this? Oval. Okay, what color is this? So we're not going to say red. What color is this? Yellow. Yellow. What color is this? I don't have a word. Blue. Okay, what color is this? Huh? Okay, what color is this? White. Good job, what color is this? Pink. Good job, what color is this? White. What color is this? Pink. Okay. Purple, black, yellow, blue, black, yellow, red, green, white, pink. I mean, he's doing amazing right now, and I'm very proud of him, and I'm very encouraged, and it makes me feel good, and it's like, okay, I see progress, I see what we're doing, but to see exactly how far he's come, to see his fluency improve, to see his confidence improve in himself, in the function of taking the test, numbers can't do that, but the video can, and I was just astonished when I saw it. I'm like, wow, this is amazing that a video that I shot in September, really, my memory really was not that clear knowing him now. I know he's made progress. I'm proud of the progress that he's made. But if I hadn't had that video, I don't think I would have known exactly how far this child has come. And to know that the effort I put in now can project into the future. And I'm just so thrilled and excited to think that maybe in a year's time I can see him again and see how far he's come from there because he's, he's just an amazing child. Um, and I, I don't know if I would have been able to say that in September. 
So I wanted to record my enthusiasm and the, the astonishment and the excitement that I saw by having a pre-video and a post-video. And I just had to share it before I left school today. Have a great day. Hey, turn to the left. left. Turn to the left. Yes. Yes, we might be able to see dinosaurs. Show me nice and silent ease. Jaheem, walk. Carlos, what an amazing job you're doing. Nice and walking the line. Okay, let's get to the wall. Hi, I know it may be April Fool's Day, but I've got a story to tell you and it's no joke. I was recording with my iPad today, the kids walking back in line from the cafeteria. It's something we struggle with every day. And what I decided to do was use Dartfish Express. And all I did was have the kids walk normally. And then afterwards, when we came back, I put on my projector so they all could see it. And I would circle the kids that were doing the right thing, whether they were walking in line or following directions. And that's all I said. I was just focusing on the kids that were doing the right thing. So here you see this child, he's on the line, this one's running off. By the time I got to this slide, this little guy who had seen himself running for about 30 seconds goes, oh man, stands up, says, I have to put myself in timeout, went to the timeout chair and sat. I didn't say a thing. I just stood there in shock. Here is a child who put himself in timeout, saw what he was doing, figured out that it was not the right thing, and then did his own consequence on his own. And all I did was put this on the projector. I didn't raise my voice. I didn't have to do anything else. This is such an amazing tool. I mean, here's a child who we've been working with all year long to get him to recognize the actions that he does and to develop his own set of consequences and he did it just like that and all I had to do was sit back and watch. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Thanks. Okay. Hi, this is April 2nd, 2013 and I've been having lots of fun with my dartfish and so I decided to take a picture today of the transition between play zones and story time. It's one of our major transitions during the day. And as you can see, the kids are all scattered. They're looking all over the place. Very few kids are actually sitting where they should be. A couple minutes later, a little more kids getting focused. Finally, towards the end, most of the kids are focused, but some kids are still running around. So, based on my experience yesterday, I put the video on the overhead so the kids could see their transitions. This is their reaction. Every single student was focused on the board for more than a minute. Now, I teach pre-K kids with special needs. For them to be focused for a minute on anything is amazing. And all of them are focused exactly where they should be because they're mesmerized at looking at themselves, seeing what they're doing, the language they were talking about, Look who's doing this. Look who's doing that. It's great. So here is just living proof of what this tool can do. Oh, and by the way, you know that kid yesterday walking in line? Today, he did a perfect job. Just the memory of seeing himself yesterday was enough to keep him on the straight and narrow. So I'll be doing this a lot more um, because when you get results like this, makes teaching more fun. Thanks, Dartfish. Hi, 
It's Friday. We had a fire just today, which is fun and exciting. Um, and today what I've noticed with um, us using dart fish in the classroom is that when we have visitors coming in, other classes that come in for our circle time or through cooperation, I'm also using uh, the dart fish technology to help with controlling the classroom. And it's really saving my voice. You know, by the end of the week, it's Friday, we're all tired, and as teachers, we have to do a lot to get kids' attention. Now, all I'm doing is holding up the video for about 25, 30 seconds, putting it under the doc cam, and focusing on the appropriate behavior. What I'm noticing, too, is just the mere idea of me holding it up, just the thought that they're being recorded, oftentimes will have the same effect as me raising my voice, which saves my voice, keeps everybody calmer, um, and so it's really having a positive impact on what we're doing. Not only are we, you know, having documentation, helping teach kids about analyzing their own behavior and getting more self-control, but it's also having a really nice benefit that, um, yeah, I can talk at the end of a Friday, which is a nice thing. So today I'm going to talk a little bit just about a generic observation that I have about feedback. You see, today, I got my evaluation for the year, which was great. I actually improved upon last year, and I had a nice spring in my step all day. I did very, very well. But what I realized was I've been going around all year really not knowing if what I'm doing in the classroom has made a difference in the eyes of my administrator. And it got caught me thinking, you know, getting evaluated only once a year I'm very glad I did good. I'm very happy, and I'm, you know, I kept saying in my uh, exit interview that, you know, I was very happy that what I was doing in the classroom was making a difference and was being noticed. But afterwards, I had a time to reflect on the fact that it would have been nice to know a little bit all the way through. And that's where I see Dartfish really helping with things, because... If I had had somebody observe one of my videos and made feedback on that, I would have had a better idea a lot sooner. And maybe I would have had better days instead of just the day that I had today. So just kind of my observation on the importance of feedback and how it really does change what you do and how you feel. Not just knowing what you did wrong, but knowing what you did good. How to do that and to get that constant and continuous and immediate feedback really does make a difference, not just for the kids, but for us teachers too. So that's all I have to say. So for today's observation, I want to talk about changing rules and procedures. You see, my students, when you change things up, tend to get a little, well, crazy and nutty. But you know what I've noticed? Teachers are the same way. Um, when you are used to doing things a certain way, and then somebody changes the procedure on you, it can cause a lot of anxiety if you don't have a format to follow. So here's my idea. Why not use Dartfish to create a procedural manual so that you know exactly what to do? And you do this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Not just for the kids, but for the teachers, too, because we can all use a little help so we all can have a more relaxed and calm experience when things sometimes have to change. Well, today's reflection is about when everything goes right or wrong. Do you ever have that moment where you have a situation and it can go one of two ways. It can either be really, really good, or it can be really, really bad. Well, today I had that situation. I had somebody come in from the district to come talk to me um, about my classroom, about what I've been doing with Dartfish. You know, we're just sitting and chatting, and it's, you know, the kids are doing their thing, and then we're going to transition to nap time. So it's a really good time. Well, one of my kids decided this was the time he was going to go off. You know, it was transitioning from lunch to nap. So we skipped over play zones. 
Now, I'd given him plenty of warning. He knew it was coming up, but still, I changed the routine. So, he was just about to flip out, just about to do it. When I said, wait, Jaheim, remember, we talked about going to nap time. I happened to be at my computer. So, I pulled up Dartfish. I went to the search, type in nap, because, you see, I've been shooting a lot of video, two for 200 um, video clips. So, to find the exact one I was thinking about, if I didn't have the keywords, it wouldn't have happened. So, I hit search. I find all of the kids napping. I find the one for Jaheen, which has positive practice. I pull it up and say, Jaheen. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go to your mat and make your body look like this. Close your eyes. And he said, okay. So do you want to watch it a couple of times? So he watched it a few times, and he still didn't want to go. I said, do you want to put it on the big screen so you can see what to do? He said, okay. Saw it once on the big screen, went on the mat, and slept. Crisis averted. Crisis averted because of Dartfish in front of the person from the district. And she just sat and watched in amazement. And I'm sitting there back going, it's good to be a teacher today. He slept. Everything was great. And like she said, that is the most powerful statement you can do. That's why we're here. That's why we're teaching, so that kids can have appropriate behavior without going off, and everybody wins. It was a really nice experience, and for the first time, somebody other than me got to observe it, and that was gratifying to me as a teacher, because I know in my heart this is changing my classroom, and this is doing amazing things for my students. And the parents are happy, and you know the other teachers who see me are happy. But to have a colleague see the power of this as it's happening, that that was just a really gratifying feeling to know <sighs> I'm on the right track. This is this really is going to make a huge difference for my students. This really is what I've been searching for. All my years, all my strategies, all my interventions, combined with the power of this, I think that, you know, I'm sad that there's only 12 days left of school. Sad. Because I've got to wait until August now to start playing with this tool again. I've got 12 more days. I'm going to make the most of them. Um, but after 19 years of teaching... To say I'm sad that there's only 12 days left because of a tool, that's something.